This episode of the Free 99 Podcast is brought to you by Dagwood and Scoops. Located at 2736 24th Street in the city of San Francisco. Serving premium sandwiches and Mitchell's ice cream. On Instagram at Dagwood and Scoops underscore SF. Order online at dagwoodandscoops.com. We Eating presents the Free 99 Podcast. Be sure to follow us on SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Twitch, Instagram. Search F-R-E-E-99 Podcast. Podcast. Shout out to all the sponsors. Shout out to all the listeners. Mono in the building. All right. In the camera. Ramel in the building. My mind's telling me no. Uh, shout out to John S- Jan Sways in the building. I'm the good homie guest customer service. Toast up. This is episode 147 of the Free 99 Podcast. Toast. 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 Toast, and as we're toasting, as we're toasting, um, official announcement, I don't know if y'all watched the YouTube or just know the energy in the room that we've been having for 100 plus episodes, uh, but we will be relocating. This is the last podcast at this location. For the meantime, in between time, um, Mono's been gracious enough to let us let, let us uh, call this home for a couple and he got some big projects coming, coming. So just be sure to keep locked in with us, so you know what he got cooking. But this is this is um, one of the last the last po- podcast that's gonna be uh, recorded and filmed uh, over here in the nine four one one two. That freestyle couldn't have been any more rougher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rough, rugged, and raw. Yeah, you would have definitely been eliminated in yeah. the quarterfinals. <laughs> Well, he didn't rehearse that. We know that. No. That's true. That, but, but we that, have sandwiches in our faces. We yeah. do have sandwiches in our faces. Shout out to Dagwood and Scoops. Dagwood. Dagwood and Scoops. And Scoops uh, lace us up. Ramel, uh, what's uh, what's the Vegwood? What's the Vegwood look like? Vegwood, man. You like hummus? Because it's in there. Mm. Swiss? Mm. In there. Mm. Let's see. We want more cheese? White cheddar? Sure. Mm-hmm. Olive spread? I love it. Artichoke hearts? Got me in my heart. Marinated peppers, tomato, sprouts, avocado. It speaks to all... You hipsters out there. Yes, it does. Uh, Jesse's Girl. This is grilled chicken, mango hab- habanero spread, pickles, onion slaw, pepper jack cheese. Uh, located 27 Street in San Francisco. Uh, catch them on Instagram, Dagwood and Scoops underscore SF. Once again, Dagwood and Scoops under- underscore SF. 2736 24th Street in the city of San Francisco. By the way, I see you, Dagwood. I see why you named it Jesse's Ooh. Girl. If you're just listening and you're not watching the YouTube, there are seven sandwiches. Seven. 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 On the table. And we're dying to see how many bites these big oh. guys can take of all the sandwiches. <laughs> this one closest to me just for Jay. Pastrami, Swiss cheese, Creole mustard spread, marinated peppers, pickles, onions, lettuce. What's that one right there? Steve's fave. Shout out to Steve, man. That's Steve's boss, man. Steve's fave, man. He likes him some turkey, some salami, some cheddar. Marinated peppers, jalapenos, pickles, tomatoes, and mustard. I see, Steve? I see white cheddar. I see you, Steven. The fiery roast beef, jalapeno, garlic spread, lettuce, onions, tomatoes, pepper jack cheese. Don't forget the motherfucking Dagwood. What? Yo. Man, what? you like turkey? How about if it's roasted? Huh. You know where I like my ham? In the Black Forest. Oh, come on. The blackest of forests. The blackest. Salami, sure. Oh, roast beef, that's how I like it. Pause. Not even pause. Keep going. Uh, Swiss provolone, mm. marinated peppers, mustard, mm. mayo, mm. dag sauce, dag nabbit, artichoke hearts, lettuce, and tomato. By the way, Jesse's girl, you know what? I know why you say that because she habanero spread. Oh! I see you, girl. He's a rapper. He's a rapper. 2736 24th Street in the city of San Francisco. It's right by the, the Facebook hospital, the Zuckerberg one. Um, Dagwood and Scoops with an S underscore SF. On Instagram, add them, let them know. Uh, Ramel and Gus and Mono and Jan sent you. Um, yeah, shout yeah. out to they, y'all, man. They, they do deliver on, they, on all the apps. Yes. Ooh. Order online. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, the, the link is in the bio. Link's in the, the bio. In the mother- bio. Let them huh? deliver to you at work. Yes. At, at school. Yeah. Catering. At they, home. Yeah, yeah, they're actually lacing up uh, catering for some someone oh, or another. Again, all Destiny Child. Oh. Let them cater to okay. you. There we go. There we go. <laughs> There we go. You know what? All of this mm. would be perfect for an athlete if they wanted to carb load. You know what I'm saying? And they got wrap snacks. They got the new wrap, wrap, snacks. The new wrap snacks. They got drinks. Drinks. Uh, what don't they have? Uh, the, you know what they do? They do also have. They have ice cream. In scoops. Oh! I believe it's Mitchell's. You had to go there and fact check your boy. Mitchell's, man. Shout out to the Hollow Hollow. 
That is the, the actual hollow hollow or the ice cream. Well, do they have do hollow hollow? They they make hollow hollow there. Then to both, man. Oh, Get okay. a two way. Get a two way. So two you want way. a hollow hollow with hollow hollow ice cream? I'm a hollow hollow at the hollow hollow. Some of my favorite shit in a hollow hollow is just like the when it's kind of melted and you kind of just sip the shit. Yeah. For right. Sure. Yeah. That's my shit. I don't like. The, I'm not a fan of the beans, but you know it's there. Oh, you know you know what's perfect for you then. And not a lot of Filipinos know this. And I'm going to check in with everyone's face as I say this. Oh, my God. Coco Chacha. You guys know what Coco Chacha is? Nope. It's like Holo Holo, but no beans. Wasn't there a place they used to make that? Like, was it Coco Mango? Uh, Coco Banana. Coco Banana. That that was a sp- uh, spot in Westboro, right? Uh, yeah, that was. Yes. They ha- they also had three bears. You got really excited when I said that, guy. So I'm just three bears. Matt gets excited over a lot of things. Yeah, same, same. You see <laughs> I me? I got high blood pressure. <laughs> do you guys get excited All over sandwiches? We do. Yeah. Which one is calling your name, Mono? Oh, shit. The Dagwood or Roast My go-to when I go to any sandwich spot, I usually just roast beef. Roast beef. Right here. Whatever. Oh. And then get it get it the way they do it. That's Ooh, right there. But it's right? fiery, though. It's a fiery roast beef. You, you, you ain't doing hot like that, right? No, nah, no. Nah, uh, hold up. Have you seen Mono? It's on fire, dog. <laughs> Fuego. Stay on fire, dog. Fuego. When you go to a sandwich spot, what's your default order sandwich? Like Ooh. Turkey. Like a turkey, bacon, and avocado sandwich. That's your default? Basic. Yeah. If you were to judge a sandwich spot, you judge it by that. Yeah. Like, because then you get the... The like actual core deli meat, not like meat they cook in house. The core deli meat. You know what I mean? You get like like the boar's head, but they don't use boar's head. I forget, I forget what fucking kind of. Uh, Dagwood's got their own supplier. Come on, y'all. man. What kind of bread? They got, uh, Dutch me? crunch. If they have it. If I have Dutch, I don't toast it because I don't want to rip the roof of, roof of my mouth. It's worth it, man. Mm. What's, oh. your, what's your default? Default? It's worth it, man. Ham. I actually, <laughs> I actually, I, Black Forest. I actually, I actually, I'm sorry, guys, I lied. I don't like ham. You don't. No. You know what I do like? Spam. So what's with the Black Forest deal then? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just being funny, sell, man. He's selling it. Why are you yeah. calling me out, dog? <laughs> Get on camera and call me out, dog. Like wooden scoops. I like me some pastrami. Uh, I do fuck with a good pastrami. Oh, all of a sudden. With the kraut? I do. Huh? With yeah, the with, kraut? The kraut, huh? with, with the kraut, dog? What, what's kraut? the name of that one? A sauerkraut. No, there's a name for it if you do. Oh, uh, uh, a chata. A ruby. No, but that's with corned beef, though. Is it? Yeah. My mistake. Dude, no, pastrami, man. What bread? Dutch Crunch, toast that shit up. I want you to rip up the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Toto's, a nice soft roll. Soft Toto's. 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 Uh, Toto's uh, pastrami is what they're known for. Man. Sponsored uh, high school sports focus. Ooh. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> focus. That is Domino's. Avoid the Noid. The whole, never- volley- <laughs> the whole volleyball team is sitting up there sponsored by Togo. <laughs> and they never showed El Camino Sports. And thank you for doing that <laughs> because we weren't that good. Uh, no basketball on team? Wrestling? Wrestling, no. You know what is good, though? Sandwiches. A little bit of tennis. Mono, pick one. Pick a uh, sandwich. I'm going to do this roast beef in a second. All right. Why don't you guys indulge? Uh, Mono, I, I'm not, I, I need, I'm going to call you out real quick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what happened yesterday? Oh, so me and Romel played tennis. And uh, yeah. he was winded. Bro, no. <laughs> can you cut the, can you cut the yeah. video? No. We, that's not what we talked about. He uh-huh. admitted oh, yeah. that I'm... He's pretty athletic for a big guy. Yes, I am. Like a, like Congratulations. Action, I told you, Stan. Yeah. That was muscle tone. Like an action Bronson. Yeah, I'm like action Bronson, but I can't grow a beard. Yeah. We didn't get yeah. a real game going, but he, he he hung in there. Yeah. How long did y'all play for? Like barely an hour. Wow, bro. It felt like three hours. <laughs> <dog. laughs> I was dog. Barely an hour is a long time. I, yeah. I was ready to go longer. Yeah, and I was ready to go home. Yeah, <laughs> that was it, huh? You stre- y'all stretch beforehand. You know, no, way, no lie. At our age, you really got to do that before. I did shit. one of those like pretend stretches, like copying what the next person was doing. Yeah, exactly. Where you like lift your leg up in the back, but you know that shit don't do nothing. Mm. Yeah, I felt in the morning. I'm sore as fuck right now, dog. Uh, Wait, would y'all play tennis at? Just a little up the way, way, rock rocker. rocker. Okay. I promise, this, man. I told you episodes ago. You play tennis? Oh, let's fucking do this. And guess what? Did you buy a racket or you already had one? Bro, I'm always causing a racket. <laughs> Holla no, at I me, had cool racket. Mobi. At- oh, oh, you had you had both rackets? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, the thing is, what he what he mentioned at the end when we were done is that it was good to get out, exercise, and and you know, burn calories, whatever. It was, it was nice to get out and exercise. It was. It really was. I. <laughs> what time did y'all go? Like three seventeen, p.m. Three sixteen. Okay. All right. Ah! Dun, 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 dun. Check, these guys check the YouTube. Freaking check the YouTube. 
They, they emailed these. each other today telling us about our wrestling shirts. <laughs> no, he's about to message me, don't wear a wrestling Yeah, I was about shirt. to text him not to, but I was like, fuck. But he had, a, he had to wrestle with that thought. They decided oh. to wear uh, pajama shirts out to in public today. Wow. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> these, 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 you know, I'm happy you, you only see the top part because these pants, straight house pants. <laughs> hey, shout out, shout out to women or girls who wear pajama pants outside. That's amazing. No, no, wait, no. How, sh- when I say shout out, I mean shout out, like get the fuck back into the house and change into some proper clothing because that is... I be seeing them walk dogs. I'm like, man, walking the dog, walking the dog. No, but I'm talking about like if you're like going shopping. Like yeah, I, I can't agree with you more. Seeing people going out looking like a mess. Like you put on the <laughs> slippers and you know what I'm saying? The like, fuzzy like, ones. Like you, come on, you're going out in public. Or, first thing to we be. We can all agree. If you're not ghost face killer, you cannot wear a bathrobe in public. Pink if you, sweats. If you don't have the body, don't go out and show your thing. Like, Pink sweats yeah. and like Ugg boots. Yeah. <laughs> Before something, no, it's, no, you know what it is? It's the UGG boots where you know that <laughs> they're not UGG. They were treasured in the beginning, oh. right? And then they started just not giving a fuck and just stepping on the back. Mm. They're not even new. And then you can see the crumbling. Oh. And then, like you know, maybe they walk with the a little bit lopsided. Of a, yeah, they walk with a little bit of an instep. Mm. They were pink, and then oh, it turned like a. Stop wearing the, uh, the the ten-year-old UGG boots out in public. Yeah, retire those already. Yeah, Actually, go get go get some clothes. Birkenstocks. Yeah. Birkenstocks. I've get some Crocs. Oh, yeah, that's your sponsor. I'm just saying, man. I'm I have a pair of Crocs. Comfy as fuck. They are comfy. Comfy well, as fuck. Okay, but you want to wear Skechers? Nah, I won't. Oh, wow. Why? They're comfy. You want nah, copper fit? No. Copper fit. Because if it's comfy. No. Yeah. Let me ask you guys a question. No, these so, are open. These are like open. These the, are like slippers. You're going for comfy um, hype beast. I know. I've been on these, though. You know that before, though. Before they were, I don't even remember what, when they became a thing. But yeah, I would roll up and fucking Gus would step out the house and croc. Rock. For years. Yeah, for years. Now, yeah, but who's years. been wearing it longer? You or Mario Batali? Uh, Mario Batali, because <laughs> he, he, he wore were orange ones. Shoes. Yeah, yeah, actually, Crocs shoes. were, uh, well, that style of, of shoe was like a, a designated, like a cooking chef yeah. shoe. Or, or like uh, at the hospital. Yeah, no, they were they were clogs. Shout clogs, out to dance clothes. Dance clothes are Dance-coles. like dance clothes are expensive as fuck. My mom, dude, every fu- every fucking birthday, she'd be like, "Oh, buy me this one with the fucking different patterns. color, yeah, right? Different patterns, man." And it doesn't matter because she'd still get blood and shit on them. <laughs> like you guys ever had a job or like at school, you had a uniform, you had to wear all black shoes or you had to wear this, but you tried to pick like the most like steezy fucking all black shoe. Like, mm-hmm. let me get the all black Air Max with a bubble. Or, Ooh, see, Air- you know what I mean? When everyone else is wearing like. K-Swiss or Elise. Mine were like Cortez because like I had a budget of like fifty bucks. I couldn't go over. Your, your uniform was what? All what? black. You talking no, about it, school? It, it was yeah. It, it was a uh, it was a white white button up and blue corduroys. Blue corduroys. Because you know I went to St. Paul's. You know blue. It was either either blue corduroys. A lot of people didn't wear black, but it was like green corduroys. Yeah. That that's what like the the Catholic school system where the colors you got. Damn. Mixed up with. So this was back in what, 1970, what? 1900s, 1990s. No, back <laughs> when they were shooting oh, Sister, Sister Act. Act. Sister Act 1. Ooh. You know why they made you Sister wear corduroys, right? Mm. So just in case you're gonna, you were trying to sneak around the hall, be like, <laughs> zik, 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 zik. I, I, I lightweight knew when mine were done because then it would be it would be like bare in, in, on the inside. Oh, yeah, because your thighs were holding hands Come at that on, point. Come on, man. For sure. I was the first one. I was the first one. I'm going to call this out. I was the first one to wear dickies at school and they let it ride. And you probably got them at that spot Blue. near St. Luke's, right? No, I actually got uh, Eric's. Shout out to Eric's. A R I K. Shout out to Eric's. That's shout out there. to you, Eric. R I P Eric's. Eric's. But uh, but for me, it was Acme Surplus. Shout out to Acme Surplus because that's my grandfather used to take me there when I was a kid. And it's and still there. It's still there. They still rock it. Shout out to the whole crew. I think it's there, the only man. one left. It's only. Is there? Really? I think it's there only was one. the one on, on Valencia Mission by BK. That's Eric's. A R I Eric's. Eric's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, but they closed down. They, yeah. they did. So close Acme down. is the only surviving. Yeah. Like, like, like clothing wear, like, like yeah. Union, like Carhartt and shit. My daughter showed up to the house one time and she was wearing Dickies, and I was like, "What the fuck did you get those from?" She's like, "Walmart." Yes. Yeah. Wait yes. a minute, hey, Dick, Dickies, you did it. Yeah. I still rock Dickies. I still yeah. rock Dickies. I twenty five bucks. I, I, I like a pair of Dickies. Uh, cash at me, man. I'm not afraid to ask anybody watching. Send me, send me some dickies, dog. Cash out. Don't send me a dick. Well, all right. Anyways, so they, uh, yo, I, yo, hey, Jan, chill, bro. Hey, you guys Shout have any Jan. any clothes that you're like embarrassed to wear, but you just can't throw it away, and it's still like, why can't I throw this away? Bro? Airbrush shirts. You're embarrassed? 
No, I, I I can't throw it away, but I, I can't wear it. Wait, wait, is it like one of those like R.I.P. like we'll miss you, dog? When nah, you it's it, it was when I used to work at, at KMO. Like they didn't have my size shirt, so I used to air, get airbrush shirts made for me at the pier. <laughs> no, 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 homie. Shout out to Jor One. If you okay. know who Jor One is, Jor Owner. I got some I got some like classic pieces that will say 106 KMO Street Team. It was like with cheesy, but he did them. Yeah, I got some. Embar- I got some prize you pieces. Embarrassed to wear, like, like like you still got corduroys in the closet. Yeah, you still got your. You, you still probably got, got some brown. Uh, corduroys. You know, I I still have my uh my uh my school Letterman jacket for when I played sports. Do you know like the from Reardon? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I have, but I didn't sell any patches on because by the time I got the jacket, I got it has hit, I got kicked out. <laughs> has it rated on the it, back? It, has, it says uh, Reardon Crusaders and the year I graduated. And then I have seventy four. I have all the patches from all the sports I played, and like they give you like little like emblems, like pocket pool. Oh, that's yeah, sick. Like, <laughs> I had none of them sold on. Do you I, get all? Do you get all like Al Bundy and like when you're gonna get like before sex, you like wear it and you're like poke high. You're like high. It doesn't even fit, bro. Like I can't. Like, I tried wearing it one day and I was like, ooh, this is. Ooh, Damn, what's the what's the, something embarrassing? Yeah, embarrassing. Why? Because of the quality or because, because like, like whatever say, you're embarrassed. About. Like I was embarrassed. I bought some like Dada shoes. Ooh. Or like Fubu shoes, if I had, but like I don't, I don't. I don't if they're the Spree Wells or the the C Dubs, right. the Dada shoes. shoes. <laughs> I have some, uh, <laughs> I have some BBC ice creams that it, that I thought were dope as fuck. Too bright. The shoes. And then I was like, yeah. And I was like, yo. And then I got them. I was like, hey, yo. See <laughs> <laughs> these ice creams. Warm ones. <laughs> I haven't even worn them yet. By luck, and I'm like, I'm weird. But you don't want to throw them away. I know. Why are you throwing them away now? <laughs> Dead stock. Uh, they're going on eBay for like thirty five dollars. I know exactly. Like, damn, I, I'm not to take a hit. No lie, I went to I went to Ross in uh, in Westlake, and this was like six years ago. Maybe maybe oh, it was before I had a kid, so it was like damn near 11, 12 years ago. And there was a pair of black and yellow um, black and yellow babes, but there was like there was like patent leather all the way around. I was like, are these real? Like how how did these end up, end up here? And like size thirteen. This is when, like, this is uh this is before Kanye, like wore it, baby. Yeah, yeah, kind of cut. Like, and, and it came yeah. back, right? And I was like, are these real? Are these are these fake? Like, uh, hair. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, I oh, that's you know what? I changed my answer. Okay. <laughs> there are okay. So there was a there was a shoe a shoe company. I'm about to eat a sandwich. There was a shoe company that came out, and you know, like how Bape ripped basically the uh, Air, Air Force, Force One, One shell. This company was called Greedy Genius. Greedy Genius, that's a cool name. Yeah, the shoes, and I have the shoes still, and I got them all these like horrible colors, but I can't. I, it's not that I can't throw it away; it's just I can't get rid of them. You have more than one pair. Yeah. How many? But I have, see, I have like five pairs. And you bought them all the same hit, like it's no, just, no, no, not on the same hit, like. I think I, I got some for like dirt cheap because I was like, oh shit. And then I was like, oh, that's why I got them for dirt cheap. Shout out to Greeny Genius. Is it still around? Uh, I think on eBay, man, you probably get a good pair, like a BOGO or something. How much? BOGO? How much did you pay for those shoes? Uh, probably a hundred something. Yeah. What's the cheapest pair of shoes you guys ever bought? Cheap, cheapest pair, like. Price wise, the yeah. dollar amount, like just paid like, out for? Yeah, like you bought Shacks before. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I stay in Ross and Marshall's what? looking for kicks. Like, I, 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 bought, I bought a pair of uh, all, all white leather, patent leather Cortezes from like the outlet for like 15 Patent bucks. leather? Shiny? Yeah. They have all, shiny Cortezes? They had all kinds of Cortezes. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> all hurt. white. That's hurt. Well, you can wear it with everything though. I got Man. some. Uh, I got I actually got some Agassi twos. Agassi, uh, Agassi, yeah. Agassi, 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 Agassi. 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 That's how. Was that's it just for that? Just for that tennis match? <laughs> no, exactly. No, I mean, <laughs> I went to Agassi and the soul like. And you had up. a headband and a wristband. <laughs> you know what I should have brought was a fucking inhaler, dog. I was dying, <laughs> bro. But you brought my CPAP. You would have called me. I would have brought it over <laughs> exactly. like, hey, you guys need a need a recharge. And then it might be hard to switch my racket because I'm like rolling around the oxygen tank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would just plug into a generator and <laughs> make hella noise. I know all the other people playing tennis like, what is that humming sound? I'm like, How much were the Agassi 2s? They were like about $40. At, it, dude, San Leandro has. Oh, yeah. yeah. That outlet is the lick. Yeah, like, that outlet is the lick. If you go there like during a three-day weekend, you probably get an additional 30 Look at you, dog. Yeah. No, thank you. That's an additional 10% for each day. Come on. Math, a, math Jan. Huh. Jan. Sorry, Jan. <laughs> Shit. It's called math. 
Thank you, Wu Tang Clan. Thank you, Wu Tang Clan. Wu Tang Wu Tang Financials. Oh, cheers, cheers, cheers. Give me the cheers. Did you guys know? I fucking love you guys, man. Did you guys know? Thank you, Wu Tang. Hey, not the fuck with Wu Tang dropped their first album on the same day oh. as who? Jan. Tribe Called Quest. What year? Um, I think it was Midnight Marauders. I don't know what year. In the 1990s? Yeah. Okay. You should have known that. <laughs> Talking about 36 Chambers. Yeah. So, which is my favorite part of a Dungeonous Crab. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> right? Ooh. Yeah, well, wait, are you Claws or are you 36 Chambers? Claws? No, bro. I go to Swan. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Swan Oyster Depot used to give out that crab fat for free, dog. Oh, tamba, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they're like, some like rice. Oh, yeah. Yo, you want high blood pressure? Sure. Oh, no, yes. you get more meat in the 36 Chambers, bro. Yeah, yeah you yeah. do. And, less, and, and the shell's a little bit softer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you. Yeah, it's easier to, to, to work through it. Yeah. Like, I, I, I used to hate peeling crab. My wife would peel crab do. for me. I still do. Yeah. But yeah. Not- go, go to Boiling Crab, Mish cracks everything and puts it on his plate. Thanks, babe. No, it, it, it's all <laughs> sweet. It's on a, it's on a community. A Mish, it's man. not on the community plate, and I just pick off the community plate. Oh, man. All right, let me ask you guys a question. Oh. You, what type of person are you, okay? Mm. Do you get the shrimp, peel it, sp- stack it up? Eat as then, you go. Eat as you go. Me too. Yeah, My brother Ron. Ron Stacks. Queer Arby. I told you you were a psycho. You have man. the meats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Arby's Sorry. dope too, man. I'm no, Arby's. it's not. No, it's not. RB, what? you notice, you know, it's R- good Arby. A R B Y is R B for roast beef. That's worse than the 143 shit I said. Th- that, it's RB. Why is it called Arby's? It's R B. Wait, yeah. A- R- there's there's for- an objection in his facial expression. There's something good at Arby's. What is it? Go. But they have good chicken salad. <laughs> and they have you get a chicken stuff. salad from Arby's. They have good waffle fries. <laughs> hey, bro, you buy Filipino food from Safeway. I do. I have. Get out I of have, here. Have the one in Westlake. The one in Westlake. Your mic. The one in Westlake. Westlake. Yeah, man. the one in Westlake. And but Ramel will say Westlake is lacking. Okay. No, it's not lacking. It's so lacking. Mm. Except for uh, Brosters. Brosters. Shout out to you. Oh man, hey, expensive, bro. Yeah, that's what they call them, bro. bro, bro, bro. So, Nations is my shit, though. I'll fuck with Nations all day. Have we talked about this? Yeah, yes. Because the thing with Nations is like, you're like, hey, let me get a burger. You oh, don't... if he says something bad about Nations, I'm going to throw my microphone. I know, right? <laughs> you talk about Miracle Whip. <laughs> what what are you going to say? Go burger. continue. Go, 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 go. go. Action. <laughs> He's going to say. Your hand, keep your hands <laughs> on your side. <laughs> right? Action. Keep your hands. What is nothing bad about Nations? When you ask Nations, you say, can I get a burger? They're saying, sure. Do you want everything on it? Yeah. And then they continue to cut up an entire onion and put it on the burger. Hey. What's the problem? <laughs> Nothing. You didn't let me finish. I love onions. Lettuce wrapped. Lettuce wrapped. Lettuce wrapped everything. Onions, everything. You can make a whole salad, actually. Yeah. You guys don't get cheeseburger with a pancake on the side? What? Ooh. I'm no hey, one, first eh? thing. Fuck. First thing. You blew my mind. No second, fries. No fries. Just a pancake. Second, oh, no, no, second thing. Fries. Fuck your metabolism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> play more real. tennis, dude. Play more. Yo, what if you, I bet you could order that, though. Be like, can I get a hamburger, but with pancakes as the bread? Yeah. I did it all the time. Did you? Yeah. It's technically hamburger like- as the bread. No, no, no. I'll, I'll get no. A, I'll get a du- double cheeseburger and then I'll get pancakes on the side. But then would you then deconstruct the hamburger and put it in the pancake? I don't think that's ever been done in history. And if anyone has and anyone wants to no, do it I on camera, right. do then hit us camera. up and you can come on the show and eat a nation's pancake cheeseburger on camera with us. You know how that would work if you if the pancake was like a burrito and you wrapped it. Now he's talking my language. <laughs> 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 but would you still use syrup though? Yeah, what the fuck? What do you mean? You're going to eat a pancake dry? Do, do you eat, okay, with mayonnaise and syrup? I don't know. I would just do the syrup. Well, first off, that's not mayonnaise. We all have to recognize it's mir- that. Yeah, miracle it's miracle whip. whip. There's nothing a miracle. There's nothing miracle about that. It, it, it's fair. You know what's really good there? Wait, wait, do you hear how high-pitched your, vo- your voice got when you said that? Yeah. It, it's fair. The grilled ham and cheese there is underrated at Nations. Ooh. You, you don't like uh, ham unless it's from a black forest, correct? This is true. <laughs> do you, you, fuck with, you fuck with ham? Geographically, I don't, I don't know where a black forest is. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's a <laughs> mystical fucking ham, yo. There's a redwood forest. Mm. There's a, Maybe there's that's a the rain forest. Maybe that's the same don't, forest. You need to, don't go there. <laughs> Maybe that's the same forest where they have truffles. Forest Whitaker. <laughs> and then they, have, they bring pigs there to find the truffles. Mm. And then the pigs get lost. And that's the black forest ham. Is there a disgusting meat that you guys are like, I'll never try that? 
Like bowl head balls. cheese. Right, I would, but what's head cheese? What? Have head you cheese. Wait, what's what? head cheese again? What? Head che- what? what is head that? Cheese. What is that? It's Jen. like it's like cheek. Cow? Jen, you like it, you like head cheese? What is that? Cow? Yeah, it has some. Oh, it's cow. Mm. See, it's like cow. It's like cow or pig, right? It depends. It can be both. I never had it. It's like a hot dog, bro. So it's cow or pig the face. Yeah, but it, it's not as pretty though. It's it's uh, the Oscar Mayer one would be like you you would see like the cheek. So you want me to put makeup on it or something? Nah, I, well that's what hot dog is. No, I imagine it's no, grounded up. Right? No, because that's a combination. That's in a combination of Vietnamese sandwiches. Yeah, uh, pat the pate the or pate. the no no the the, the pork slice. Yeah, I think that pork. shit out. Is that the fancy pork? Is that what that is? The no, face? fancy pork is like is, is fancy pork where it's like roasted usually, <laughs> right? Yeah, where like the pig wore a monocle. Is <laughs> 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 that a hat? Sure, I'll give yeah, you a piece a, of meat. A cummer bun. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That was a, a meat. Pit no. Cheerio. Have like, you ever had? Uh, have you ever had? Okay, tacos. You ever have like? Uh, Sabessa. Every everything that's on the menu. On the, hold every on, taqueria. Quick. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. This motherfucker. Sabessa. It's cabeza. Oh yeah. yeah. Get some. <laughs> <laughs> How about and then lengua? Just, lengua, yeah. lengua is actually some that's of the most tenders. Yeah. That's yeah. tongue. That's dinner. Yeah. How about uh, tripas? Yeah, right. Had it all. But it has to be fried though. Hard. Hard. Everything I at a taqueria. Put it on a taco. It's good. All yeah, right. So, what about liver? Do you like liver? No, I've had liver. I, yeah. But, but do you like liver? Uh, what's the one? The the with the one, onions no, and soy sauce. Fa- is it the duck liver? What is it called? Foie gras. Oh, oh no, oh. foie gras is different. Foie gras. That's, that's fancy. That's getting drunk. So you, drunk. You're talking uh, about the taqueria liver. No, I'm talking about like the Filipino liver with, yeah. the, with what, the onions. What is it? It's the one that's usually overcooked and it's hard. And then your there's dad a name for it, isn't it? The the the. It's like beef steak, but it's but is it the kwok? Oh, it's not beef steak. It's a meat steak. Meat steak. Because it's a meat steak. He's that you're shooting cooking. right now, guys. Yo, I'm shooting you're for fucking shooting. fifty right now. Yeah, dog. you're shooting right now. Have okay. Huh. Go. Okay. Kambing. Ooh, kambing. Kambing. They sell like Goldilocks at the top of the hill. Uh, but for those who don't though. know, what is that? It's it's like it's goat stew. It's like uh, it's like uh, it's like uh, goat stew. Do you, Do you like, like it? Goat. Huh? Do you like it? I uh, I don't partake. What part of the goat is it? It's the body. Yeah. Uh, it's the big body. <laughs> <laughs> All the of it. it could be balls. It could be butt. It Do you like lamb? Do you like lamb? I love lamb. I You'll love like euros. Lamb. How about chicken hearts? I forgot oh, chicken hearts. At uh, yes. uh, what, uh Espetos. Espetos. Chicken heart? Chicken yeah. Heart? Espetos. You know what I do when I go to Espetos? Espetos? I do this. Because I know I know what you got back there, dog. All the so set just, it and forget it. So just fucking bring out the tray with the beef rib. Yep. And just leave the bone. Leave the whole fucking Oh, you asked for the dog. bone? Bone. I go, I, yeah, you know how I asked for it? Bone, 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 bone. bone. And they're like, say everybody. Yeah, and then they weren't born here, so they don't know the song. Bone. And I'm like, I'm just, I just want the bone, please. <laughs> Woke up. See, my sister was already dressed. I want hella shrimp. If I go to Spetsu's and it's for dinner, I want hella shrimp. All right, hold on, hold on. This motherfucker got at me about getting chicken salad at Arby's, and he's going to a churrascaria, which is a meat house, and he just wants hella shrimp. It's yeah. like going to a steakhouse and getting stuffed chicken. Yeah, that is weird. Or ordering salmon. Or, yeah. Yeah. And hey, when you go to a wedding, do you ever order the fish? Yeah, I, I order uh, salmon sometimes. Why? Who hurt you? Fishes. Like what? Like what? No, but like what? Like sometimes, right? Well, you got a problem with fish, bro? Yeah, hey, bro. Don't. You got a problem with fish? I saw what your fishing poles. No, but it's like I usually am befung. You got beef with salmon or something? <laughs> no. You got beef with salmon? It's beef. just come on, it's a bar. Right, right, come on, right. he's a mono's here, guys. Mono in the motherfucking building. Oh, no, but it's thanks. just like it's a lovely thing. But when they say it, right? At a wedding, girlfriend asks, "What do you want? Chicken? Do you want?" I don't fish? get chicken. See, oh, but you get so fish. between the chicken and the fish, you pick the chicken. I shall get the fish. Oh, all yeah. of a sudden, uh, no, I would out of the two, but I don't because it's what if a the third. The fish is listed and it doesn't say if it's salmon or like tilapia because tilapia is like bottom of the barrel, right? You know what? Yeah. So is shrimp though. Shrimp is the cockroach of the sea. That's yeah, what it is. but it's so good. Yeah, it is. God, so yeah. Good. Whenever, is it? whenever I go to a wedding, it's always uh, me. And my wife always orders something separate because we don't want to get stuck with two whack meals. Yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot. What did you serve at your wedding? What was the choices? Steak, uh, or chicken. salmon, or chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have a table. I stood by the DJ booth. No, you did have a table. I did, but I didn't and you had, I paid for a meal for you and, and whatever her face and was. I didn't even eat it. No, you and Boogie didn't eat. I didn't eat it. But we T- did, TJ we, ate, so did that's you. That's why, yeah. I was young Mungie. I was standing next to TJ the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Shout out to TJ. I don't know you. <laughs> TJ Max. But, but thank man. you for giving my boy company. That's AKA Slash from Guns N' Roses. And it never fails. This guy wears a top hat 
and um, the well, fucking the curly, just pops and he looks exact. He even has a guitar. Just walking around with yeah. a guitar. And no, he Hella looked exactly bracelets. like Slash. Yeah. That's crazy. I think we were at a. He we were somewhere. We were at like a concert or something, and he was there because it was in, during Halloween. Yeah. He was there. I, it must have been a, a fucking not like a summer jam, but whatever. But he was, a house of soul. It was one of those. <laughs> Slash was there. It was there, it and was the fucking of- Slash was walking around. I was like, I think that's TJ. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Rock around yeah. with with, with, a, with a cut off tank top. Yeah, you know, dude, with a guitar not plugged in. You ever been to like a rock show or seen a rock band live? Uh, uh, now you're separating the men from the boys. Yeah. Uh, does uh, Native Elements count? No, they're no, rocking. Just Pier say no, guys. Yeah, Pier no. Twenty Three. Ro- okay, go. You've been to a rock show. What have you been to? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Wow. First off, because I would go by myself. Judgy, I would go by myself. Too. I would. Best concert I've ever been to was actually a rock band, and that was fucking Rage Against the Machine. Okay, bruh. It's that crazy. energy, dog. It's crazy. It's- Fucking crazy! You're dude. definitely the only Filipino there. No, it was it was a, it was a, it was a rock the bells. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, does, yeah, yeah. Does it count if it's one of those? And it's like, yeah, yeah. no, that counts. That counts. Linkin Park. You, you know what I mean? You were there for the headliner, which was most deaf. And uh, no, no, he was there for probably <laughs> yeah. no, the headliner at your time was probably like a uh, Run DMC and Aerosmith. Rock walk that way. Uh, LL Cool J. <laughs> <laughs> no, round the way, girl. Buy tickets for the headliner, and it's a rock band. Then you love music. There's a Filipino rock band in the Bay. Death Angel. Yes. The hardest of them all. Is that a cover band? It's in Tagalog, I'm right? Tigas Filipino. Hard. That's Tigas. crazy. Tigas. Tigas, yo. Tigas. That's crazy, but I like, I like, I love seeing um, other cultures yeah. uh, embracing like rock. Hell mm-hmm. yeah. Dressing dude. up in goth. Fuck you know, yeah. shit like that, like rocking out. It's weird, but it's I love it. Imagine yeah. being gothic in somewhere like the Philippines where it's super hot. Like you can't wear like trench coats, right? No, no they probably mascaras have, like, that, running. You know, they, like, that mesh, they only have like mesh tops. Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, dude. Like, my mom, my mom still watches TFC, right? And they like they're like adopting the fucking Western culture, right? And you see some of these. When you say Western culture, what does that mean? Like you know, like us, what, like yeah, us. Oh, yeah, US. And then you see them like in essential like hoodies and like, bro. You know, that's just like 100 degrees right now. How are you doing that, Doug? it's recording indoor and there's yeah, AC. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's just probably fake. <laughs> it was, it's not essential. Not it's essential. Okay. Mano's out here pouring. Whoa. Hey, we got sandwiches. I, I, I need one of y'all to, to break into one. Go ahead, Ramel. All right, let's do this. I got a challenge for you, okay? I'm going to close your eyes, Gus. And you got to guess. And them. you got to guess which fucking sandwich okay, it is. Okay. Oh, no, but you can't fucking play. I won't. I won't. Go, 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 go. Yeah, just be truthful. Yeah, yeah just come be truthful. On. Go, get, get All right. Hey, get the hand sanitizer. Oh, hold on. Sand- get the hand sanitizer. Yeah, I was going to say the hand sanitizer. We no, no, no. Put it in the sandwich. You motherfucker. <laughs> All right. No, we got to cover it. All right. Anyone who's not watching the YouTube, if you're listening in, Gus over here is pretending to I'm close looking his away. Eyes. I'm looking away. Look it away. Look at away, look at away, look at away now. Ooh, okay. good callback. Come right. on, man. All right, you have to hear. Do you hear the crinkle of the paper? Is it right here? Yep. Go ahead. Don't look at the meat, man. No, bro, oh. what the fuck? Yeah, don't look at the meat. Just bite, put that back. Okay. No, put it. All right, fine. No, it's cool. He can also see which one's missing, fine. dog. Cool. No, I'm not he looking see, at that. He doesn't see the sticker. No, Gus is a math magician. I know oh. this guy. I know he's going to get it, though. <laughs> I know. I have total confidence mm. that he's going to guess the meat. He's looking at it. I don't know the names of things. But just name the meat. Is it ham? Is it it's, turkey? It's definitely chicken. Okay, you got it. Bro. All right, fuck that. Give me one. I'll do it. Okay, eyes closed. Keep, keep your right. eyes give, me closed. A, give me a blindfold. Do you have a keep, blindfold? No, just keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. All right, delicious. Trust system. Trust system. Trust this is Jesse's system. girl. All right, you ready? Okay, you ready? Hold it. You got to feed it to me. <laughs> ready? Okay. okay. Hold on. Go. Hold on. I got to put my sandwich down. Okay. Jan, cue the sexy oh, music shit. for this, And right? you know what? You're actually in for a treat because there are four different meats in this sandwich. Oh, shit. <laughs> if you can name two out of four, I'm impressed, dog. Well, guess what, Mono? Okay. Just like my tennis skills. Okay. You about to move. I'm kind of jealous how y'all play tennis. No, you weren't. You, we asked you and you said you wouldn't go, dog. <laughs> All right, feed me, Gus. Go ahead. Grab right the goddamn sandwich. Camera. Camera. Mmm. Don't, don't. Don't, don't. Oh Feed God. me, Seymour. Feed me all night long. First meat. Ready? If you could guess two out of four. Ready? And we're showing the camera the meats. Yeah, show the, show the camera the meats. And then Gus has it right here. Roasted turkey. Swear to God. Oh, my God. Swear to God. Black Forest ham, because oh. I fucks with you, dog. Oh, you don't like Black Forest ham. You're like a fucking liar. Go ahead. What else? Salami. Swear to God. No, I just have a good memory. No, no. That's what I read. <laughs> Oh God. Gotcha, bitch. You got it. That's, That's yours. Got it. That's yours. You got it. This is a good fucking sandwich. This no, is the drunk, dogwood. Yeah. Like you said, Black Forest. Black Forest ham, roast turkey, salami, roast beef, Swiss provolone. <laughs> He's fucking 
fucking memory. Marinated peppers, <laughs> mayo. I was amazed. Dag sauce. Like, I was like, hearts, lettuce, and tomato. Oh, holy shit, he's getting it. I'm not going to lie. The only thing I tasted was the turkey. Yeah. And then I took a stab with the black forest ham. Look, I don't usually eat when I'm drunk, so Dagwoods, for you to make me want to take another bite of this motherfucking sandwich, you're doing God's work. Mm, I did. I feel another bite. Uh, Shout out to Steve, man. Dagwood and Scoops. Dagwood and Scoops. 24th, right by General Hospital. Yeah. Dagwood and Scoops underscore SF. What's the address, Mono? 2736, 24th Street. Mm. Uh, order online. Dagwood and Scoops. Just go online. Order it. Let them deliver to you. You ain't got to go nowhere. Come on, Get man. Get the... What is this one? The, the Dagwood. Dagwood. The Dagwood. Roast turkey. Black forest ham. Salami. Roast beef. Get the Dag on Dagwood. Oh, Dagwood. that's on Dagwood. wheat, too. The just yeah, I think. Are I, you surprised? Oh, it's pretty good. Well, you know, you always expect like Dutch crunch, but that wheat's pretty good. Jan, can I offer you one while you're sitting over there so quietly? Could just grab whatever. Just grab one, Mono. Uh, yeah, you, no, I will am, get am, there. Am I, am I gonna hold the sandwich here? You think a bite? Come on, man. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Hold no, on, no. guys. Why, Jan? What do you have against Dagwood? I know. <laughs> <laughs> With no microphone over there, he can't defend himself. He can't defend himself. What does Dagwood mean? Isn't that like a, a phrase or saying or something? No, he's a fucking cartoon character with the curly hair. But he would Is always he? eat sandwiches, so that's the name. That's why it's called. Uh, that's why it's called Dagwood School. Dagwood it's a character is a sa- yeah on the Chronicle, the uh, right in the cartoon section. Blondies. Shout that out blonde. to newspapers that have the fucking cartoon section. Shout out to you if you ever waited on Sunday just to do the crossword puzzle hey. and then and re- read the cartoons, all uh, the comic strip all the way I through. I still do crossword puzzles. Anybody else? Uh, was that Wordly? Was that Word? It's called Wordle. Words. Mm. And the last... Words with friends. And today's word... Words with friends. And today's, word, words you do, huh? and today's word, I got it in three guesses because I'm a motherfucking genius. So you, they give you one puzzle a day? Yeah, one word a day. <laughs> Old man talk. Uh-huh. Oh, lost them. Um, Actually, eight. I want to take this opportunity to say something, Go right? Ahead. I do crosswords. Still. Still. On a newspaper? Day. No, I'm on my phone with the New York Times. <sighs> they do many ones. I mean, the sandwich right Sake talking. one. I fucking see you, dog. I'm catching up to you. You see his high score or something? That's what actually drove me to do it. Oh, do you see other people's high scores? No, no. I just saw it on his story. He posted on his story. Oh, yeah. This one, And, you know, every time I send him, like, a time, I'm like, 25 seconds. I'm like, fuck. I'm going to send it to Sake. I send it to him. He's like, that's cool. Send, <laughs> sends me back 14 seconds. I'm like, God damn you. You're good, what, sake. What if you just Googled, like, Somebody like screen, else. screenshots of that shit, and he just has them on the, in the tuck ready for you? I just I just imagined this, because sake has an amazing Instagram feed, and he's just posting funny shit. His story's I, hilarious. And then he takes 14 seconds out of his day to solve a fucking puzzle, <laughs> and then he goes back to being funny again. That's you're awesome. A, you're a blessing, sake. That's awesome. Yeah, and his knowledge for music. Damn, sake, what the fuck, man? Yeah, I was just telling Ramel, like, in the car, like, the way... He listens to music. The way the model listens to music is different because they created music. I'm I'm a consumer of music, so I, I listen for it for like what it is up front. Like you guys right. dissect music. That's why when I said Bruno Mars is better than than MJ, like Ramel kind of got hot. <laughs> well, I think what you're referring to, like when you like listen to music, I think what more like what you're referring to is like song selection, right? You hear a song you haven't heard in a while, and you're like, oh, I forgot about that one. That shit slaps still, and then like you forgot about it. That's why. It, it's tight. But you, you keep searching for that next sound. Like, I'm stuck with liking with just what I like. How do, this is, I'll, tell, I'll tell you my thought process. I want to hear Mono's first, though. What are you talking about? Of, like, how you listen to music. Let's say you hear a new track or okay. something. From a brand new artist. Brand new artist, and maybe you hear, like, New Music track. Fridays. Yeah, New Music Fridays. New yeah. shit. Clue. Um, number one, me. Me, personally, I look for the beat. If the beat's whack, then I'm past. But sometimes there's whack ass. It's very seldom today that you find a whack ass beat and an MC that makes it tight. Yeah. Very seldom. Very fucking seldom. I can't even think of the last artist to do. Nah. Oh, Nas. Um, I was gonna say like Jake Cole. There's some. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Nas, and he's still uh, fully fucking in the scene today. Still drop like what an album a year for the past fucking five years. Yeah, I mean, you know it, Nas has had drop to that ring money. Nas has had a rebirth in music because of the fact that he hooked up with Hitboy. Yeah. 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 I mean, but other than that, because if music, if it doesn't catch you within the first 30, 45 seconds. They say five seconds. I give it a little more. Yeah. Right? So I look for production. Number two, if those first, vocally, if those first four, 
to eight bars, if you're not catching my attention, it's like the, it's so important to catch the tension between four to eight bars, the first four bars. Yeah. Right. You have to open with a sick ass line. If you open with the garbage that everyone else said, I don't want to hear Get music that everyone else fucking made. You know what I mean? Yeah. But regurgitated music. But unless there's people that are totally faithful to their artist, they love them. They love on their on their nuts, and you listen to their music no matter what. That's that's cool, whatever. But yeah. if you new, new music Friday, what do you fucking look for? So this is how I get lost in music. If I find something and I'll scroll through new music, <sighs> right? I literally I literally listen to the first ten <laughs> seconds. If it's no good, I'll pass on. You looking for beat? Uh, yeah, beat, melody. Yeah, melody, vibe. Right, it's all about the vibe. It has to be catchy. Yeah, it has yeah. to be catchy. It has to be good. Like the drums can't be whack. You have to have like a good. If it's not sampled, you have to like have a good background to it. Or if it starts off with some vocals, it has to be good. There has to be something catching, right? Right. Mm. I think a record exec once said you could always tell within the first ten seconds if a fucking song is gold or if it's fucking trash. Right. I agree. Now here's where I get lost. If I find some, so I'm sorry. Let me go back. Ten seconds, whack, pass. If it's good, I'll add it to a playlist. <laughs> And then, shout out to Dagwin Swoops. Go yeah, ahead. shout out to Dagwin Swoops. <laughs> now, here's where I get lost. Sometimes I'll find an artist that I like. LMA, for example. New album comes out. Yo, this is dope. Go through the album. But I'm like, yo, her old shit was dope. So I'll go back to her album. Wait, right? what did you say? Her what was dope? Her old shit. Her, yeah, her old shit. And then I get lost in her shit. Here's another thing. If there's a song that comes out that uses a sample, right? And I'm like, fuck. Like, that sample sounds so familiar. What I'll do is I'll go back and I'll dig for that sample. When I find the person who actually made that song, I'll look throughout their entire catalog for anything else. And then I'll also use the Spotify radio um, functionality. That comes to, in handy. Yeah, to find anything else that sounds like that. And then mm -hmm. I get lost in other people's songs. So That's like, all I have I'm basically moving radio. Through it, it's, it's a, that is compared totally compared to a YouTube wormhole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A rabbit hole. Yeah. That's totally, I get lost in it all the time. And it's good. And every Friday, civilization. every Friday, <laughs> yeah, it, I'll be staying in them That's holes. a positive thing. That's a positive thing about nice. streaming services today is that you could totally look up the whole catalog at your fucking fingertips, right? Yes. Here's the thing. Prior to maybe like, I think it was last year. I, uh -uh. and this is kind of embarrassing to say, I, subs I w at one point in time, I was subscribed to all music's, uh, Apple, Spotify, Apple, Spotify, fucking a uh, title title. Mm. Yeah. The Jay Z shit, right? Yeah, the Jay Z, the Jay Z shit. So, Title was selling, was trying to like you know market their stuff by saying that their quality of music was better, right? But then they were also saying that the percentage of um, of the royalties that are paid out are higher to the artist, right? Apple I liked because they had like different stuff and you know they had like um uh, like playlists that were like procured by like you know different artists mm -hmm. or whatever, blah 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 blah. I'm curious about that, but go ahead. Rap caviar. We'll come back yeah. to that. Spotify was my jam because like I just always built all of my spot my things. The only bad thing is at one point in time, this is like early Spotify, I tried to like save I save albums, I save pod uh, uh, playlists, and I was trying to save an album and it basically said, Oh, it looks like you reached your limit. I was like, bitch, uh, I'm limitless. <sighs> Do you pay yes, or I'm free? Pay dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you name? I like free music. Here, here you separate the men from the boys. Can you name a song that's not on Spotify? Yes. Go. The entire De La Soul catalog, because it's it's a uh, it's well, not an entire. Yeah. So anything. I can go right now. Go away. Anything. Okay. Uh, th what, what's the three for from the ground? Um, what are you saying? Certain albums or the, all their music? No, their album. That album. Before that, it was Aaliyah, and I can tell you why it was Aaliyah, because Aaliyah's uncle owned. Uh, the right to music. The rights of the music. Wait, you said their albums are not on Spotify. Uh, no. Their early albums. No, oh, no. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. The earliest album on Spotify is 2004. The Grind Date. Yeah, Grind Date is on there, but then you can't find like um, mm. uh, what is it? Like the one with um, any 90s album. Yeah. So Anything and the reason why is because it's, it's being tied up with to uh, with Tommy Boy. So last year they released, which was a dope logo, by the way. It was a dope logo, but fuck them for holding back this fucking streaming stuff. Yeah, so fuck boy shit. So basically, Aaliyah, right, had this whole thing where they're like, "Yo, we're gonna release her uh, her music," right, and they made a whole big thing of it. So you can find all of Aaliyah's albums on there, mm, on now. any streaming streaming platform, but you can't find. Um, fuck, I forgot. That. I'm I'm drunk, so I'm a little tipsy, so I can't. All right. Yeah, but um. There was a there was a oh that new uh, Spider Man movie, um, No Way Home. Okay. At the end they play a they play a, a De La Soul song, mm. and then people were like, oh yo, this song's fucking tight. They tried to look look it up, not there. That's what separates 
the men from the boys. When you listen to music and a lot of your music that you listen to is not on Spotify, I was mm. like, I fuck with you. Here's another thing that <laughs> I put so, I put music uh, like on my fucking Spotify playlist, mm-hmm. and um, sometimes it'll black out because it's not available anymore. Didn't Jay Z just take all the shit off? No, oh, that, no was, I was, that was before. I think he tried to. And then I think it was on his birthday he released it to yeah. all of the I, Last week I was listening to all Jay Z shit on Spotify. Is is Death Row shit on on Spotify? Yeah, because uh, Snoop Dogg's gonna do a thing to where he's gonna pull everything off the streaming, no. and, and you have to go to deathrow.com. No. No. That, that's why he bought that shit. Like he, that, that's like no. one of his major moves is to take all the oh, whole man. Death Row catalog. Yeah, I'm mad because you can't you can't like Dre shit. Chronic is not on there. 2001's on there, but original Chronic is not on there. Is that on there? No. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I was just on there. Um, <laughs> a, a song that I was looking for recently, um, Paid in Live featuring Lauryn Hill. Oh, my time. It's okay oh, with yeah. You. Not on there. Uh, fucking um, Groove Theory. Uh, Baby Love. That's what not soundtrack was that? Uh, I don't even know if it was on a soundtrack, but yeah. Tell me when you Yeah, love no, that's me. on oh, that there. Like okay, okay, but yeah, yeah. Sorry. There's some other shit. There's hella shit that's not on there. I yeah. stay in my lane, guys. And fucking, <laughs> yeah. No, usually it's because of some like tie up with like. Fucking- no, I like it though. I like how there's music not on there, and it's it's for the because people who love music and they play it when it's the timing's right. You play it at a barbecue. What song? Everyone's like, what song is this? What song is this? Bitch, it ain't on Spotify. All right, yeah. so you name I mean? all of your music streaming apps right now. It's only Spotify. All right, so here we go. That's it. Do so you got all of them still? Spotify, uh, Spotify, Spotify, blah, 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 blah. Spotify. I got SoundCloud because there's like uh, remixes and mashups on SoundCloud. Yep. Shout out to SoundCloud. But also, I have Bandcamp. Never heard of that. Bandcamp is basically how like the <gasps> independent artists uh, release their music, right? Oh. Yeah. So there's like Miles Medina. Shout out to Miles Medina, you sexy motherfucker. He basically like makes a bunch of. Uh, like mashups and he like releases it on there oh, oh yeah and like club like edits like cl- yeah, yeah. I, I'll play you one I don't know if we play it here but I'll play you one after fucking crazy dude what else you still got no, title I, I, no I don't have title cause then my, my girl's like what's this for and I was like I don't know and then I cancelled it <laughs> but yeah music I listen to it a lot cause I just drive a bus all day and I fucking listen to music and there's a point where there's I don't know if you guys you guys work from home. Do you guys just let music play in the background all the fucking time? Right. Podcast. And is there do you guys? And I'm sure a lot of listeners they come to us a, a point where I don't know what to listen to next. Uh, how do you decide when you listen to everything? All your playlists you played everything. How do you decide what to listen to next? So this is how I do. It. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna jump in. Sorry, Jen, go. I see you judgy eyes. I'm gonna eat my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. Okay, Jen, mm-hmm. you want a sandwich? They're not talking you, to us. You right played now. everything. You went through New Music Friday, yeah. and you're like, I've had all my OG playlists ready. Yep. I want some new list too. Right. Here we go. There's at least, you could say like maybe, there's dozens, if not hundreds, of uh, websites that will release uh, a list of 100 of the best albums ever made, or 100 albums that you need to listen to before you die. Mm-hmm. Right? And I'll jump onto that. That's why. That's how I started listening to uh, Beach Boys' Pet Sounds. Oh uh, yeah, you talked about that. Yeah, Beach Boys' Pet Sounds. They say is one of like the. They said it was like, oh man, you know, because they're all doing drugs and shit. Uh, the Beach Boys. Beach Boys. Uh, yeah, Beach Boys. I wish. Uh, new, no, new California. California. <laughs> so is, that Beach Boys. Yeah. Aruba, okay. So if you listen, Jamaica. if you listen to Pet Sounds, right? The reason why they say it's Pet Sounds is because if you listen to like the filtering and the different like uh. Uh, stuff that they put on there, it sounds like it's being heard through a pet's ears. <laughs> what does that's that sound some, like? That's some they took shit. the highs out or the lows? It's kind of like wavy and shit. How do they know that's what fucking pets? I don't know, but you know they were saying? doing drugs and that's how they figured it out. But that's, that's how a- that's how I find other stuff to listen to. Hmm. I stay on Mixcloud. Oh, and then with, with Mixcloud, yeah. I can just download. Mix, I'll just listen. Like, no lie, Scotty Fox is one of my favorite DJs. Oh, great fucking mixes! I just, great I just, mixes, dude. I'll, I'll, <laughs> on a Saturday morning when I'm cleaning in the house, I'll just throw on like an '80s mix, like mm-hmm. from one of his yacht parties, Ooh. and it, it's just yacht rock. And then I, I fucking fuck <laughs> with yacht rock tough. Dude, I fuck with dude. The original I fuck JT. With yacht rock you know, you know tough. Justin Timberlake. You know the original JT, James Taylor. <laughs> but Gus's strategy, relying on. 
like valuable DJs with, oh. with, with a good ear. Oh, that, that I don't have that ear, so I exactly. And yeah, it's good go to, to curate. It's lists. good. That's what DJs are for. They 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 okay. have the ear. They're doing the job for you. You don't have to look for music. Listen to the DJs. Oh, they can do that right now. We're gonna name some of our favorite DJs. You can go with your. I don't want to say top three in any order, but I'm not gonna say top three. I, I said one of mine. I'll just, start, I'll just start naming them off. Okay? The last three that you listen to, uh, Mr. E. Shout out to Miguel. Shortcut. Oh yeah. They released a, a mix that was on um what was Randall's uh, old um uh, mix crate. Mix crate. Shout, Shout out to, to Randall. Yeah, that still works. Yeah. yeah. So it was a lovers rock, right? And what lovers rock is, it's basically uh like was that Eric and Sade? No, Lo- lovers rock is basically like a, a type of music of uh from Wanna eat a sandwich. Like a type of like <laughs> reggae music, but it's like covers of like old soul songs. Oh, mm. it's the ones you hear at a luau. Mm. <laughs> no, not a luau. <laughs> God. Uh, when you so, go to Fort McKinley, Fort McKinley, it is a Fort McKinley track. It's not, I'm not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. I will play you more. It's not, it's not Fort McKinley. It's CC Cabanara. <laughs> that used to be a fucking mortuary. Mortuary, dog. Dude. Oh my god. Okay, so there's those. Brandon Fox, amazing DJ, and I have to say Miles Medina. Man. What are you What are you listening to on like what platform are you listening to? Uh, SoundCloud. I listen mm. SoundCloud. They have a lot of mixes. All these guys are on SoundCloud. Uh, SoundCloud. If anyone yeah. listening, and also wants to on listen. Bandcamp. Yeah, support your fucking artists. Yeah. Support the DJs. If man. anyone wants to listen to new music, you ran out. Or you played out your old playlist. Go to go to Bandcamp. Go to SoundCloud. Mixcloud. Mixcloud. Uh, fun fact about Miles Medina. Do you guys know who A Track is? White dude, right? Yeah, white dude. He's uh Jen nodded. I gotta throw a race in it. So what so A so so A Track know what it is? Yeah, A Track's like a, a DJ from Canada, right? Who came up ever since he was young. Mm-hmm. Who they make? Another fun fact is oh, another, another shrimp on a barbie. <laughs> Let's put another okay, shrimp on a awesome. no, <laughs> no, it's like what's going on, eh? Yeah, I think he was a scratch pickle. Did what's you know go- that? Was he? Yeah. ISP. Yeah. But he was from Canada. So he ITF. Was a, he was a scratch if he could. Also, his brother is um the lead singer for um Red Hot Chili Peppers. No. Journey? Uh, oh, Chromio. Sorry. Okay. So, yeah. so anyway, so so Miles Medina. He's digging way too deep right now. So yeah, so A-Track, A-Track, had a, <laughs> A-Track had a DJ competition in New York, and Miles Medina won the first fucking one. Shout out to Miles. Shout out to fucking Miles, dog. Yeah. So that's your... Huh? Was it Fool's Gold? Uh, yeah, Fool's Gold. It's called Fool's. the Gold. Oh, Jan with the knowledge. Jan, look at you with that luscious ass hair, dog. Yeah, luxurious. I, shortcut is up there with... For like as far as like curating lists, yes, like his reggae, the the uh that and the soul the soul soulful shit that he did with Vin, like yeah, that, dude, that's some of my favorite shit I could just let play. Oh, Vin, all Vin, while you're vacuuming on Sunday, what I said while you're vacuuming on Sunday, you, you know let, what I mean, or, or doing laundry or laundry in your Crocs, folding my son's underwear. I saw him one time at a laundromat and he had like a fucking Mount Everest pile of fucking clothes. Oh, dude, yeah. Because he only does laundry like once a month. Yeah, I have, what? A, lot, I have a lot of clothes. Like, And that's wh- ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. Wh- How do you let it accumulate? You need when- like a truckload. It's like fucking like 200 pounds of fucking clothes. We don't do <laughs> like, laundry. You need the big, you need yeah. the big fucking... Yeah. The you might as well get it done by Cintas, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cintas. easy with the Cintas plug. Oh, easy with the shit. Cintas plug. Wait, so who are, who are your DJs? Uh, So... Melly Mel. No, oh, <laughs> easy. Right, easy. Um, easily would be um, Fox. Shortcut. Shortcut. Scotty Fox is that motherfucker because he could play. Scotty Fox. Because he can play anything. Like, you could put him in a hyphy crowd. You could you could throw him. I used to go to his 80s parties at, uh, where the fuck was this at? At uh, the, the cellar in the city. I used to. And Scotty would kill that shit. And then he'd do yeah. like a hyphy party at Mission Rock on the same day. You put him in a small room and I'm in the small room still. Yeah, and he's yeah. So it'd be Scotty, it's I'm it's two sh- it's uh shortcut and honorable mention would be uh have a glass, please. Thank you, thank you. Uh one more DJ that That's, that I know who you're saying, you said Rick Lee. Uh, no, I do fuck with Rick though. But he's, uh, he's still got gas, dog. Don't yeah, say he nothing. He still got uh, gas, dog. Yeah, Ricky still, still got gas, dog. Ricky's still Ricky, doggy. Shit. Ricky still Ricky. I'm at Maxwell's with Ricky, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> Stop. We're at 17 with Ricky. I'm at with Ricky. Come on, man. We're, we're New, we're, NKC. Come on, man. We're right, NKC with Ricky, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, uh, New, New Caribbean, Caribbean City. City. It's come a big on. ass gymnasium yeah. <laughs> with a fucking a hoop. The hoop oh. got raised into the roof, and I was like, dude, 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 lower that hoop, bro. You, right you, now. you were that prime time while fucking D-Lo's playing. Lower that hoop right Kimble's now, bro. Kimball's Carnival. You, you went know. outside with y'all us. Y'all weren't there. 
<laughs> you ever outside with no, us? No, seriously, there, there was really a hoop that, you know, they raise it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we all lower that. Yo, they don't give a fuck about no hoe. Give me a ball. I'm gonna I'm give a throw uh, 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 honorable mention uh, just because I thought of him right now because I used to love his midday midday mix was Chris the Rebel. Oh, was this a radio station? Yeah, it was a because yeah. Name, hey, Ray. Oh, Shh. it's still, it's still nice. on. It's so good. Shout out to you still listen to the radio. Yeah, mm. well it's it's a I science. I just recently for the past two weekends in a row mm. I was listening to the radio. Not KML, sorry, but still KML. <laughs> but listening to other cities' radio stations. Oh, yeah. oh, oh that's interesting. Like, like I listened like the whole day on like Saturday. I was listening to Power 105, which is way better than fucking. Is that LA? No, way better LA? than KML? No, no, no. no. I, the other New York one. What is it? A Hot 97. Hot 97. Every day, that's your word. Power 105. Why they just play Pop Smoke all day? Dude, they play uh, Pop Smoke, Cardi, yeah, Nicki, uh, a Bobby lot of Schmarty. and, and a lot of Fifty. The Bronx, but still, bro. Yeah. The but Bronx. You know, but I notice a pattern. They'll play one new from 2022, yeah, and then they play one old. What's fucking great? Shout out yeah. to Angie. She fucking does a great job. Angie Marr. Dude. They Remember do she had great, an album? They do a great job, especially for people our age. We want a dose of throwback, and we want a dose of new. Yeah, I want some relevant. I, I, I recommend Power 105 on the weekends. It goes old, new, old, new. And I'm just like, ugh. Huh? Hot 97. Like, Every day that's your word. Yeah. If there's one song that I would have to say sets the example of how it's treated differently regionally it would have to be swag surf you know that song no 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 if you see that if you see you'll see video na, 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 yeah you know that song soldier boy na, na, just swag. Yeah. no it's not no soldier no boy. it's it, it's a it, it, it was a the video was like they were getting in a bus no because yeah but then if so you I, watch people dancing to it right it's usually like either who uh, is that? on the east coast it's a group yeah the people are like like yeah it's like, ah, like ah, with that. Ah, and then if you played over on the west coast you're like Looking around, maybe ordering drinks or something. Hmm. It's swag surf is like it's very like for uh for like uh sporting events. Yeah, but it's uh, right like 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 it's an anthem. Yeah, yeah it's, an it's, anthem. An anthem. it's a regional anthem. Though. It's an anthem. Yeah. What what is what is your favorite Bay regional anthem? Doesn't have to be any popular ones. What, what's what's your favorite? If you like like say uh, regional like anthem. Mm, I want to say the Warriors or Niners game. Fuck. It's oh, hard. Or, or or if you're out of if you're out of the city and you hear hear this song, like if you're in LA and you hear this song, you're like, oh, this is a bay. Oh, this straight is- up, put it on, put me on song. That's a, uh, that's a good one. Straight that's up, that's one. a good one. That's a good one. Because I'm all about like the bay. I'm all about don't give a fuck about know how. Uh, oh yeah. Yes. yes. Because even if you're not from the bay, even if you're not from the bay, you're like, what is that? And there's everyone, Atlanta, New York, yeah. Florida, yeah. Miami. Yeah. They're like, what is that? They're like, bitch. You don't give a fuck about no hell, bitch. Yeah. You know? This, it, yeah. Come on. Like, real talk, for me, it, it's some like, uh, fuck, I just had it. It, it was like. I got five on it. You no, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, uh, it is a classic. Freaks yeah, in the industry. Uh, that when is, that ooh, comes on and you're out, and you're out of the city, like you're in, you're in like LA and you see how the, the girls react to that yeah. song. It's like, yes, yeah, this but is some bass shit. But what's better though? Freaks of the industry or I get around? What's up, love? Uh, how you doing? That is no. That's very like I'm a and, big. And Tupac's under- on that song. I just remembered how Romel said Tupac's not very lyrical, and he yeah, said lyrical no. miracle. Yeah, no, and <laughs> I'm I, like, why did you say that? I also dude? said he was a backup dancer for Digital yeah, Underground. Why did you say he's not lyrical? Like, why is it? Income though, in comparison to Biggie, it's still, why do you say that? Yeah, that one kind of hurt. Did yeah, it? Dude. Did it? I'm glad. Duh, you motherfucker, you. Here's I'll, a- I'll, no. I thought I thought of one because I was driving the bus and I thought of one. I was like, why would you say it's not lyrical? And I, and I thought of the first fucking opening bars. Simply because you're nervous, let me start off with this conversation. Hopefully my information alleviates the hesitation. I can see you clearly now. I was like, why would you say Tupac's not lyrical if he opened like that? He opened. But that's yeah. not lyrical. Like that. That's just basically rhyming information. What? With what? Bitch, this was 1990, like nine. Yeah, and then you had fucking Biggie flipping commandments. It, dog. Oh, uh, well then. It, but at the end of the day. What's your. Against commandments. If you pick one Tupac we song about to, to go, no, no, it, oh, yeah, I want to know his. I'll put fucking Hail Mary against anything. Yeah, Hail Mary. You can walk out to boxing. You can walk out to a fucking yeah. batting cages. You can walk out to a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you, can wrestle, you can walk out to a tennis wrestling. match. You can play play tennis match. No, Hail Mary. No, dude. It, as as much as you could, those lyrics are fucking not three syllable fucking lyrics. 
<laughs> Why did just because you use syllables? No, no because okay, I'm thinking in my head, your yeah. version of lyrical is you gotta use all these fucking syllables and like like fucking you know. No, mm. the best I can I, I can honestly say to this day, the best lyricist, Jay Z, because of all of his triple entendres. Everything that he I says. don't disagree, if but you, but you he, say, well, he has more body work to to, to evaluate him. Are you from, say though. lyricist? I, I mean, to me, is shock value lyricist. No, fucking Lil Wayne. Lil no, Wayne. Wheeze? yeah. He, this nigga the, hasn't written a fucking. Yeah. He hasn't used a pen ever since like 2002. Yeah. And ever since then, he's been freestyle. Just but go. But Jay Z, same. No, no, he's no, great. No, he's Jay Z doesn't write anything it. down. He is great, but you, pound for pound, there's no better freestyle. Lil Wayne hasn't wrote nothing since 2002. Yeah. And fucking, you go on, what is it? What is the mixtape? Sorry for the wait. Uh, the drought? Yeah. All, all the, all, all his, those DJ drama. All his, I honestly say Lil Wayne's career, his mixtape career, no one could see it. Maybe, you know why maybe, I, no, maybe fab, I would maybe have fab, to say maybe Fab. I would have to say maybe fab. you're talking about mixtape career compared to actual albums. Yeah, two chains. No, because <laughs> no, Wayne, Wayne, two chains. Wayne is different though because he was tied up because of baby. That's why he couldn't release Wayne albums. Wayne has like 19, no, 11 no, what fucking, I'm saying, fucking. What I'm saying, I'm sorry. What I'm saying is that Two Chains mixtapes were a boy. lot better. No, than... Two Chains. No, I love Two Chains. I don't knock him. And I feel like every time I hear shit, but, I'm like, oh, that shit's clever as fuck. And it makes yeah. me want to sing it. But Two Chains mixtape only has like maybe like seven. Okay, fine, right? fine, fine, fine. And, but that's fair. That's right. I agree. You put Lil Wayne's catalog on this table, and it's falling off the edge. Okay. But then that goes back to the question: quality versus quantity. There's not one. Oh. That which brings back, you put a whack beat on, and Lil Wayne will make it great. That's it. He's yeah, a, he's the perfect artist. You put yeah. it, there's a lot. There's a lot. You go. Sorry for the wait. All his mixtapes. All his mixtapes. Whack beat. But motherfucker, that nigga fucking killed it. Let me ask you a question killed right it. now. Just come. Just came to mind. What's your favorite non-rap, non-R&B song? Non-rap, non-R&B yeah. song. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Under the bridge, yeah. Under, under the bridge yeah. or the, dude, Red Hot, Danny California, Red Hot, Red Hot, Red Hot is the greatest band. Three, especially three man band. Did you know there's only three motherfuckers? There's also Green Day. You said you said not hip from the Bay. Dog. That is, they're cool. But you said you, know you said not hip hop, not R and B. But if you yeah. put like Green, say rock, no, like, if you put Green Bay and Green Red Hot in verses, fucking Red Hot. That's what they need to do, dog. No, dude, Red Hot kills. Anybody. Yeah. Well, anybody. especially with oh, fucking Red Hawk. Red Hawk. Red Hawk. No, especially, with, no, especially with Flea Dog. <laughs> you know, Red Hawk Casino. <laughs> Filipino. Sponsored by Red Hawk Casino. Yo, Red Hot. I, I really don't think there's any rock band that could battle. I don't care if it's Beatles. Oh. Yo, Red Hot has pound for pound. Red Hot. Pound for Do you pound. like the Beatles? I, I think, like the Beatles. I think, I, I like, I think Kiss will give him some money. I think Kiss will give him some money. Kiss. I could name five Red Hots. I can name maybe two Kisses. That's it. There's French and then Cheek. Oh, oh, oh. I, I know Kiss from uh, Dagwood and Scoops, everyone. Dagwood, <laughs> Dagwood and, and Scoops, Scoops. underscore no, S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-S-R-
Rolling Stones. Oh, favorite? Nah, I can't even think. They can't. Though. Yeah, I'd have to think about that. I'd have rock, to think but about that. then again, rock is is not our specialty. We did not. We grew up on rock because maybe our parents had a couple yeah. CDs laying around. But uh, nah, man, I, I, but, grew, I grew up on rock because of the fucking BMG yeah. records on the back of comics. And then not until recently because we have access to streaming services that we could go mm-hmm. through the For catalog. Me, rock is because of Guitar Hero. How I got reintroduced how, ooh, to rock. Stairway to Heaven. Come oh, on, hey, man. pour some sugar on me. Come on, the drink, man. You got the, what do you got, Dreamcast? Oh, no, I, I had it on a PS2. PS2. I still, I still have it just... Too? I still have it... No, 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 just just a guitar. Man. I still have it just because of that game. Mish wants you to throw it away. I yeah, just, Breaking news, no. dust collector. You missed the fucking opportunity. <laughs> she watched it uh, Give it away, give it away, <laughs> give it away now. Fucking Red Hot, man. You missed it, dog. Fucking that was right there. All right, Damn. but my favorite non-hip-hop, non-R&B, non-R&B, non-R&B song. MGMT, song. Electric Feel. But then again... Can you name another one from them? Here's a th- no, I didn't. You know why? M- and this is a that's a hit, by the way. Yeah, it's a Fuck hit. I love it. But here is an interesting fact: MGMT, that whole album was actually a parody album. It's like it, they made their songs to sound like a lot of like uh, hip, like rock, pop stuff. But that's not the actual sound that they wanted. That's why their second album sounded completely different. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, so, do you have a a rock alternative music playlist I, I, on Spotify? I don't because I just mix it in with my regular shit. It's called The Feels and it's about 1400 songs deep. The mm. Feels. Yeah, that way that way mm. I can just put it on shuffle and just play it. I encourage you to make a playlist on Spotify and have our listeners go to your playlist and see what your taste is for I don't want to pay the monthly. Hey, look, so you, don't have to. You, know, Guys, you don't have to. Shh, shh, you don't have to. Shh, you don't have to. Shh, if any of the listeners Oh my god, shh, this guy shh, 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 shh. If any Hey the, girl. If any of the listeners hey. there want to get a taste of me. Oh, stupid. there right. it is. No, I will. No, you know what? I will. Try the I, Dagwood at Dagwood, Dagwood and Scoops man. if you want to taste Dagwood. her mouth. No, nah, I mean. It's... Roast turkey. <laughs> Black forest ham. Salami. Bra- roast Bra- beef. Uh, artichoke hearts. You ever tried cooking an artichoke? No, because that's just way too much. It's too, too much, much work. Fucking, dude. I just buy a marinated uh, can from Trader Joe's. And and call you can it only eat parts of the artichoke. It's, it's like. It's the heart. Compared to. Uh, the leaves, which uh, like. Leave it alone. Compared to a crawfish. Right, Hell, hella work, little crawfish. ass meat. I'd rather just get a shrimp. I seen someone open a crawfish so easily on on Instagram that that's how I eat it now. So you get the crawfish, and you just twist it, and then you pop, and then it the whole tail pop. Yeah, out. I'll send y'all for a bite. No, it. but that's the thing, right? It's I like hate crawfish though. Crawfish it's, is like uh, that arcade at Dave and Buster's where you have to spend four quarters and you're guaranteed a prize, but you get the Smarties rule. Oh yeah, or yeah. the fucking ducks, yeah, the, the ducks. rubber ducks, the rubber ducks, <laughs> rubber ducks at uh, Dave and Buster's. What is your non? You, so you gave him. Uh, he said his non hip hop, non R and B song. What's your non hip hop, non R and B song? One, One song. song. One song. Uh, right now, Black Madonna, something uh, by the Elephants. See, I have no idea. Yeah, see, it's, it's total, it's total thing. But if you want, if you're curious, anyone listening out there, if you're curious, what's your playlist? And you <laughs> have, and you have Spotify. If anyone's curious, I'm fucking curious. I'm about go to show. Out of Pocket Live, uh, the user on on Spotify. Hey, and my playlist is called the Knox Alternative White People. K N O C K S. Yes, and Alternative then, and, and White that, People. That that I guarantee you, dude. Even if you play it. In front of white people, they're like, "Yo, whose playlist is this?" Because oh. yeah, you play, and honestly, I played it at a barbershop full of all colored people. I played it when there was hella white people in there. I played it when there was all colors, and everyone. It, this this playlist, not, I update it weekly. And, and curator of music, and, I don't have the patience. But here's the thing, because especially out of your genre, out of rap, out of hip hop, out of R and B. You don't really know what to listen to, right? You might see it on a Honda commercial. You might see it on TV or on a movie soundtrack. But then, if you have someone like you say, cur- I hate that word, cur- curate. curate. I, hate that I word. like, I like it. No, I hate it. <laughs> but anyway, if if, if someone, <laughs> I just like a said, party called Cultivate. Like you you remember said, that DJ song selection. It's all about song selection. Mm. Selector, and it's about order. If you could hit the right order of songs and the right song selection, yeah. you can keep them engaged and. Hey, the Knox Alternative White People playlist on Out of Pocket Live Spotify. I have a playlist that's called Can Can I Sample That? And basically what it is, it's, it plays the original followed by the I song like that. that's sampled. You know it. who did that? Who did that? Uh, Triple Threat did that. Uh, the fucking, yeah. They did one of those. The break. And it was yeah. fucking great. Yeah. It was fucking great. Yeah. Dude. Oh, dude, shout out to. Uh, what's Hold on real quick. Yeah, yeah. My song. My song is uh, Take On Me by AHA. No, I know. It's just I just thought you'd name like. Wait, wait, wait! What movie soundtrack was that from? Huh? 
me, me that was from like me uh better off a, dead or something something with Roxanne. john cusack something with john cusack <laughs> better off dead i also have a fire ass breakup playlist dog Ooh. like breakup rap songs no not even i'm talking about soft cells on that bitch what's, what's what's the first one on there? i'm curious yeah the first song on there on the breakup playlist or, or i think i have one too go oh, yeah I'll, 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 I'll after yours all right my first song on the breakup playlist oh, yeah, lately i have a playlist is to make up Lately, Gone Away by Roberta Flack. Oh, see, I'm different. See, I'm, I'm different. different. Yeah, I'll di- that's, a, that's a fucking two. Pull up to see my, when my ceiling my missing. Song, my song on the breakup playlist is fucking <laughs> Trade It All by fucking Fab and Jagged Edge, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's, 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 that's a, a fucking good song. Trade Jagged It All. Jagged Edge and, or, and, and uh, Fabulous did a lot of good tracks together. Or I was gonna say, Mario Winus. Ooh. I don't want to. You gotta get a, you gotta get a Carl Thomas in oh there. Oh my god, dude! I wish I never met her. What are oh. you guys watching on Netflix or Hulu? I or guess Disney? I'll see you next lifetime, Ooh. Maxwell. Gus, oh. what are you no, watching? That's not, that's not, no, that's oh. you. Give, what give them, watching? give the listeners an update. What's new? It's a new week. What are you oh. watching on a streaming platform? Um, because I have a soon-to-be eight-year-old son. Hey! And shout out to you, Mikey. Yeah, I love you. Mikey. He's going to be eight, yeah. Jesus Christ. He's going to be eight. Um, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yo, so on flies. Netflix, Sing 2 is on there, and the first song is by... The first song... So Sing Sing is Sing 2 is pretty much cartoons that are singing, like, uh, singing, uh, c- doing covers to, like, songs that we know. And the first song is uh, Prince... Um, uh, Shut down, let's go, man. Let's get crazy. Oh, dun, dun, dun. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's the first song. Never mind. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, it's song. yeah, it's um, it, it's amazing to see him sing songs and Ugh. uh, the but but the first song that me and my son can sing together is actually September by Earth, Wind, and Fire, <laughs> and that's that's me and my wife's song. That's and, fucking beautiful. And he didn't know he didn't know those two correlated, but the fact that my son's on the autism spectrum and he knows and he can sing that song with me is. It, it it fills I, your fucking heart, right? Dude, I fucking cry every fucking time, bro. Now, now that song, every fucking that time. song, I feel like that song right there is like fuck it, like you know what you do? I, I this is great. This is a fucking great idea. Get the wax of that song, the, the fucking twelve inch vinyl. Fucking frame that shit and fucking put it on your fucking wall because that. That's and our song. And that's and a family shit. song. Yeah, honestly, that that's the easy wax to get. It's probably like eight bucks on EV right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It has the instrumental and the acapella back to back. I'm gonna go to Great America and get the wax done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah go, uh, go before 2024 because they're about yeah. to shut that yeah. shit down. <laughs> oh, they sold it to the Hilltop guy. Yeah, Hilltop. The Hilltop. The Hilltop, guy. Hilltop. There's guy. a guy. Guys, I love Hilltop. I don't know if you know this since you're such a big fan of September. There's a guy who releases a new video on September 21st. What? Huh? 21st night of September. Yeah. What? I'll show it to you afterwards you on, on Instagram. It's like funny as fuck. I'll show it to you guys afterwards. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. I was on Market Street. Shout out to Market Street Mike. I love Market Street Mike. I love Market Street Mike. Love, Mike. Market Street Mike. I requested. He was going through his phone. I was like, hey, do a smooth criminal. He was just like, I got to save it for when there's a bigger crowd. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. If he was the real that Mike. hilarious. If he was the real Mike. And he was dressed up like in the 90s. Did he have a flip phone or like one of those Zach Morris phones? Uh, 90s? No, dude. This dude had... Well, this mic, Mark Street Mike, had a fucking iPhone connected. Ooh, out of character. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's Dirty Diana Mike. But that, dude, this dude... That's is, the genere of Mike that, that yo, Mark Street Mike falls in. Dirty, dirty Diana. Diana. Yo, this guy... I don't know... Uh, in the city of San Francisco, if you go to Market Street on Saturdays, Sundays, there's this guy in front of Ross. Old, Old Navy or Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Depending, because you know what? He beefs. There's these. There's this new band. They set up their drums and shit in his spot. And he'd be like, this is my spot, man. Let me get my spot. And the hot dog vendor will be there and yeah. it's cracking. Oh, shout out to the Glizzy guy. Glizzy, oh, Glizzy, 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 Glizzy. Glizzy, Glizzy, but Glizzy. if you ever cross him and he's doing the smooth criminal song, that is the prime time yeah, he's it, pretty clean. It's better than the thriller, the the smooth criminal. He leans so far, and I don't know how because his boot, his pantalovers are not bolted to the ground. And he, he got white socks. Yo, he he he. I remember him performing uh, it, at uh, what was it? Uh, Union Square in front of Yo. the Louis Vuitton store because uh, during pa- prime pandemic, you had to wait in line. To go in the Louis store and then you see just a bunch of people just watching MJ on the steps. But you know what impressed me the most about Marcy Mike? When he's not playing a Michael Jackson song, he'll just play like. So one time I saw him playing uh, Blue. 
of I'm Blue. Dabu D Dabu Which is on the playlist. Yes. But it is on the he playlist. was just he was just freestyle dancing, like doing whatever. He wasn't even dancing at Michael Jack. He was just dancing regular freestyle. Mm. Still killing it. Still killing it. Wow. Every time I see him, I put a fucking at least one in the in the bucket. That's at tight. least yeah. one in the bucket. If like, I if I could do a TikTok dance, I'd have him do it with me just to yo, be like Marcus Street Mike. Hey, last week I put a five in there. Hey. Ooh. Yo, he kills it though. Yo, he's a showman. Fucking entertainment. Entertainment. You it doesn't All right, who's better? Me. Him or Bushman? R.I.P. R.I.P. Bushman. R.I.P. The original Bushman. Fisher, Fisherman's and Wharf yes. Bushman. R.I.P. Yes. R.I.P. Bushman. Mike takes the cake. There's over yeah, sil- over Silverman, over Goldman. Oh, yes, Silverman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Over the two OG. We all know what's a kazoo, yo, bro. Mike. R.I.P. The two OG twins. They used to walk around matching in Union Square. Yep. Those two old ladies. Mike, I've been trying to talk to Mike on the low. And trying to get him on a podcast. <laughs> That'd be dope. And, and talk to him like he's really Mike, right? Yeah. I'll be like, like, did you like, diddle him? Hey, honestly, hey, on real. Hey, Come I, on. One time. Don't he, ruin the moment. He hopped right. on the bus one time. He comes from, I don't know where he comes from. He comes from San, like San Bruno Ave. He, oh, I thought I said San oh, Bruno. He, 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 I was like, I would put this fool down, eight. bro. He was on the eight. He was on the eight. He didn't have his makeup on yet. He was wheeling on, like, on a dolly, his, his Bluetooth speaker and everything. Uh-huh. I was just like, what's up, Mike? He was like, hey, man. He's in the voice. voice. He he, he, he he rides that out. He held the character. He held the character. See, I respect that, bro. Shout out. That's why I threw a five in there last week. He's like a fucking wrestler, dog. Dude, don't break kayfabe. Don't don't break kayfabe, Kayfabe, dog. Because because honestly, uh, if you talk about uh, street performers, yeah. There's the break dancers. There's Silverman. There's Goldman. There's Marstry Mike. There's the drummer guy. Yeah. 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 The buckets. Mike, Mike takes, the, takes cake. the cake. He takes the cake. It's different though, because yeah, he, Mike is he he's uh he's creating that energy. Like all and those other people are just doing themselves. He is producing Mike for you. Do you think it's because older people like us have an attachment to Michael Jackson? Of and course. Feel it more? Oh and, yeah, he's definitely. And of so, do you think he's tugging on heart? So do you though. think maybe like teenagers these days are like, what is this guy doing? I bet you in twenty years. Somebody's dressed up like little baby and he's gonna be performing back there. Rain. Kodak, 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 Kodak Black. Black. <laughs> or and it might just be Kodak so, Black. So maybe so maybe our age range relates to Market Street Mike because Mike is probably the greatest pop artist of all time. Say that again? Michael oh. Jackson is probably the greatest pop artist of all time. Jen, what Agreed. Are they about? Artist. I don't disagree, but what the And fuck? as 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 uh, Why guys? As Tank said on Drink Champs, there's a difference between R and B artists and R and B singers. Yes. There's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. And also no, I, pop I agree. And there's also pop artists. See Drake now is yeah. a pop artist. He's a, he's an international artist. He's a pop artist. Yeah. So yes. any, anyone listening, the difference between an artist and a singer? An artist writes, produces yeah, all creates, that shit. Right. Creates, right? Everything. Um and a singer just sings. You, yeah. You, I'm a singer. Romo, you just gave me lyrics and I sing it. Yeah. Best, right? best example. But an artist, they'll write it. They'll produce it. They'll have hands on everything. And they'll be through the whole process. And it's... T-Pain's an artist. Now, can you name? Yo. T-Pain, T-Pain without, name? without auto-tune is I was just singing a whole nother energy, right? Sorry. Baby like, girl. Come on, no T-Pain. Name. That was, my, that was, high, that was like clubbing name. era, Gus. No how about the fact of the dream? Okay. He wrote Umbrella. Yeah. Ah, you a dream. Same with Neo. <laughs> Neo, Neo did a uh, irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. To the left, to the left. Yeah, man. To the left, to the left. Oh, wait, Bruno so Mars. Have, but does that make Beyonce just a singer? Bru- Bruno Mars. How she produced her road? Did, uh, fuck you for uh, CeeLo. Bruno Mars did? Yeah. He did a bunch of tracks for like Wait, a lot of Bruno Mars did what? Fuck you for CeeLo Green. Oh, he wrote it. He wrote that. That's the oh, shit. Okay. Um, I mean, Rhyme Fest wrote for Kanye West. Yes, that's why he got a Grammy for Jesus Brandon? Walks. Oh, was that? Yeah. That's also, right. uh, uh, Prince Sci High. There's a lot of uh, ghost writers that a lot of people don't know about. Gilly the Kid, apparently he wrote a lot for Weezy. People don't know about writers. Mad skills. And I encourage Dog. people, when you like a song, when you fucking got it on repeat on your playlist, do some research. Look at who wrote it. Look at who produced it. And then look at that and then look at what they wrote previously, yep. what previously they produced. And you'll be surprised yeah. at how how um, underappreciated a writer or producer will be. Greatest ghost writer of all time, yours. Oh, maybe it's a tie between like either like Neo, Carrie Hilson, or maybe even like fucking Jazzy Faye, or the Jazzy Dream, Faye. the Dream, the Dream, wrote Dream, so much shit. Radio the, the Dream, so much, so 
Oklahoma shit. Yeah. Jay Z wrote Foxy Brown's hell is hell is shit. Ramel, great greatest ghost writer. Biggie. Oh, fucking asshole. Junior Mafia, little yeah, little oh, Kim, little C, hardcore, yeah. Charlie Baltimore. Char- oh. Come on, dog. No, but also Mad one. Skills. Oh, Mad Skills. Mad Skills, skills is one of the illest. Yeah. Jay Z. Jay Z is Jay Z. Jay Z. True. Jay Z. Here's the thing. If anyone doesn't know this, this is crazy. Dr. Dre never wrote any of his own no. lyrics. Yeah, Snoop did a lot. Tupac did some. Tupac. Even, yeah, Ain't even no, in NWA. You know what did? Corrupt. Ice Cube Corrupt did it all. Oh, man. If you don't know that, Eminem. bless your soul. <sighs> man. Come on. Come on. Do you think Dre wrote his verse I to think, sound exactly I like think, Eminem? I, I forgot about the, Dre. The, the moral of the story, when you listen to music, I encourage people to look up the credits. That's what I encourage. When you think something, that's just tight. Even shit that you that used to listen to in the '90s, that shit was tight. Look at the credits. We're from an era of when we bought the CD and and read read. It the, was in the read, paper, dog. Yeah, no, no, not we, even the paper. You we're from that, that era, though. Yeah. That's why. That's why it's different. <laughs> we had to look at it like, yeah, liner notes. You remember enhanced CDs? No, remember Come when you on. Say, <laughs> remember those Come CDs on. were attached to the plastic things and you had to pull the whole thing out? Yeah, like, see? how much is this? They're like twenty seven ninety nine. Yeah. Like, Fifty Cent is a good Ghost Rider too, by the way. Fifty Cent is a great Ghost Rider. Is he a ghostwriter? Yeah, he wrote. Yeah, he, well, he did a lot of hooks. Mm. I hope he told. I hope he wrote for Yayo. I hope he did too, because that's that's unexplainable. Just, I mean, just just on G Unit, Lloyd Banks is a better mixtape rapper than a rap than a I rapper think. on 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 track. Lloyd Banks is the greatest MC of G Unit. That's what I say lyrically. But he's just lazy. Like, that's like the strangest no, face I've ever seen. No, you should, you should. La- lazy, no, lazy no. Lloyd. If you put all G Unit in a fucking cipher, Lloyd Banks is freestyling longer than anybody. Yeah, that's no, true. Freestyle, freestyle, no written off the dome. Yeah, he's a ill. Yeah. He, he's he's. Lloyd Banks. They say he's lazy. It, th- that that's the yeah, whole. The discipline sets separates. The yeah, course. man. You know who's the wack? Who's the wackest? Uh, Tony <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> no, no, not a just. <laughs> Why you gotta put it? One name comes to mind that I think is just the worst. G Unit? No, it's just like an okay. East Coast rap. Memphis Bleak. Oh, because that's just Jay Z's boy, though. Yeah, because right? that's Jay Z's boy. He's Jay Z's boy. He had a fire album. Yeah, he, he yeah. had an album, and the song on that album was called I Dear Summer. I grew up on the album, and it was basically year too. <laughs> it was 80% Jay Z on that. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up on the album. But Beanie summer. Siegel, though? Now Beans? Beans is the motherfucker, man. Beans, dog. If you ever doubt Beans, go to Guess Who's Back. Oh. And Beans By the way Guess Who's Back Everyone There's always a track Where like Someone comes whack But Guess Who's Back Everyone kills that shit Freeway is one of my favorite Like everyone Rock comes. Rockefeller rappers That's Freeway's not Jay Z Yeah You know why Because he just Woo! doesn't give a fuck He's free In Philly. his own way Oh Philly Shout out to Philly Dude yeah. For real Shout out to Philly Shout out to Philly too man Alright We're at 121 Um uh, I'm gonna have know what to say. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Ramel go. Go ahead, Ramel. Closing. <laughs> Dennis Rodman on his shirt. Yeah, this is a dope <laughs> shirt. I hate. I fucking hate that he has that shirt. I love Rodman. I love Raw, man. Yo, yo, Rodman. Today, Draymond Green. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Draymond is the new Rodman. But fuck yeah, doubt it. Rob, Robin's more. Robin's more of like he'll that, fu- he'll fuck with you. That, was, nah, in a, that we, was in a time nah, where no. the rules were loose. Hold on real quick. I think he's more Bill Lambeer. No, today who's Rodman? Okay, Draymond Green. Draymond Green, Draymond Draymond Green yeah. is more Bill, Bill Lambeer. Because you're talking about Rodman. You're talking Chicago. about the bad boys. Yeah, bad boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think Rodman is the baddest boy of the '90s. Yeah. He was. Dude, he got fucking. He left Carmen Electra. He left and the Madonna, table. Right? He left and the Madonna. table. He left the table at Vegas. Said, "Hold the table," and he went. He went on the plane. Fuck Madonna. Came back and came back to the table, and they held the table, and they said, "Play, keep playing." Can he, you believe that? He flew for he pussy, flew. dog. He, he, he also he Madonna. also kissed RuPaul though. I would never Uber wait for pussy. What? He kissed RuPaul. You could Google that. Uh, well, you know, Robin was a bad. Robin's been on the black black nail polish. He's, He's been running. Shit. I'm not even. All gonna I have to say that is you better work. Yeah. <laughs> you better work. Cover all, girl. All I Ramel. have to say. Come on, Ramel. I'm a little drunk. If you ever decide to randomly play tennis at 3:17 <laughs> on Tuesday, be sure to stretch because uh, it will hurt, and don't be fat. <laughs> so you, I can't play tennis. <laughs> I said, <laughs> this is just a recommendation, yeah. dog. Yeah. You can do what it's you not want. A requirement is a recommendation. Yeah, mono. Uh, shit. I recently watched something that had me convinced on, over some shit that I never thought about. Before you fucking agree to some shit, look at both sides. Do research. Do both. 
both sides. Look at it from both point of views before you fucking agree to one side. Because fucking before you take a side and fucking defend that shit, there's some shit that you never seen before on the other side. Oh man, I'm just trying to be funny. I got to change my shit. Now. Uh, uh, academics, Kenneth once said, episode's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jan, go ahead, no mic. <laughs> yeah. It's it's kind of it's kind of surreal for me, um, being that this is the last time we're gonna record here. Uh, with, at, at, at this And I, I hope Mono continues to, to jump on the pod I understand that He has many projects I am so thankful for this man He has given me so many opportunities And um, There is no words to express What he's done For me as a person What he's done for me professionally What he's done for To help grow Whatever I'm trying to do He always said yes never said no and when he says it's time for him to to take a different direction that was one of the hardest things for me. but I respect what he wants to do because he was there at my, my wedding he was there at my son's first birthday and he has never said no so for me to tell him no is not fair I love you and I'm very thankful for everything you've done for me. And I hope to see you soon. But I know you got shit to do. I love you, my nigga. I love you, bud. I'm the new guy. <laughs> 147. <laughs> Actually, no, fuck that. You're the new guy. <laughs> no new guy. <laughs> Stupid. There's way too many sandwiches on this table, though.